I'm Jake, and this is the full release of Baldur's Gate 3. All right. Swift as my feet can carry Let's me. Let's move around town and see if there's anything else we can find. Also, he says, as swift as my feet can carry me, but... His little legs, I don't know. That doesn't affect speed, I don't think. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Okay. I think that's kind of the idea. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? I do like that they've given everybody a bunch of uh, different voice lines. Like, the easy thing would do, to do would have, like, a couple, like, staple things that everybody says and repeats. You can tell how much detail they put Me into it by giving it. everybody we'll something to say. For the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. It just really helps with the immersion when everybody has their we own actual personality. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Let's see. Do we go with the halfling response, or do we say, you're doing the right thing, the tieflings need help? Uh, we'll go with you're doing the right thing. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Saying that awful loud. <laughs> uh, we'll say, hold on, why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I wish we had gotten Gale already, because I wonder if he would have something to say here. Uh, we'll say, is this Lororican of Rasmus Towers? Rasmus. His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. All right. Nice that we're making friends. Oh, we gotta stand in the box to talk to him. Oh, he jumped off of it. How much funnier would it be if he stood on the box so he could be at eye level? The goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Uh, who do we have back here? Again, we just want to make sure we talk to everybody. Just so we open up things. It sounds like there's gonna be more in Act 3. Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Even the heat shimmers look good. Uh, we'll say I never turned down a free meal, of course. <laughs> You're an easy one to please, aren't you? Like, even the heat shimmers yeah, between the characters look good, doesn't it? We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. Right. We got in this wooden trunk. I I met the road and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. And if this is the same, I remember from the uh, the pre-release there were people up here you could talk to. <clears throat> Seems like I gotta time it right if I'm able to talk to him. There we go. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. I don't know, I'm small enough, I think I can get through that cat door. Uh, we'll say, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. Or, no, let's, let's, let's stay interested. Two tiefling refugees, you'll be lucky to, oh, never mind. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, again, lawful good, we're not gonna go rain on any parade yet. We'll say, don't mind me, I was just passing through. No bother. We're just daydreaming anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Passing through by coming into your house. Uh... We'll say, I'll be seeking the warmth of the Elf Song Tavern. I'm not sure what the difference is between that and the Blushing Mermaid, but why not? I think I've heard not? of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You... Me and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint for your finder's fee. 
See, we're making friends everywhere we go, and I wonder how much of all this is going to come back. I mean, with the detail they put into this game, it wouldn't surprise me if most of this uh, winds up being, you know, relevant. The more you talk to people early, like, more opens up later once you do reach the city. I'm assuming you reach Baldur's Gate, it's in the name. We've known enough grief this ten-day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. I mean, even the amazing thing to me is, like, every one of these characters is named. Like, they're not, it's not just Guard. It's, this is, you know, he has his own personality, he has his own name and everything else. It's just, the, the level of detail is awesome. I think this is the same spot we came from. Okay. We'll keep moving. And I know on one of my other places. a bloody death trap. Not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Okay. I know in one of my other playthroughs, uh, we used. I had speak with animals, which you could use to literally like every one of these animals has their own dialogue and everything else. Some of them aren't very deep. Some of them, the cows are just like, oh hey, what that, whatever. But. Too interested in me. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna leave here for a second, and we're gonna, let's use, I don't know, maybe Will has Arcana? I don't think so, though. Again, whichever character you have selected is the one whose skill that you actually get to have here. So Will has a plus three here. So, we'll say the ox makes you uneasy, try to discern why. And Will is just better at it than our other characters, so. Looks like we got there. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can solve this by talking. The other nice thing about... Do I attack him here? I don't know. This doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel like something we should do. Strange ox. Hmm. And again, I'm not really trying to, like, get the whole camp to aggro on me because I'm killing the oxen. I guess we'll leave him be. Switch back to our barbarian since he is our main character. Uh, I do want to talk to this little tiefling. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Uh, I'll turn around and see what he's looking at. nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Seems like a good moment to talk. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Well, say so that was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Uh, we'll try sleight of hand. We only have a plus one with our dexterity. We'll mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. Whew. All right, we need a good roll here. Just one short. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad for a barbarian. Come on, cut me some slack. But like I said, we can change that. Watch. Ah, uh, we'll take it. Call Why it. not? Heads or tails? Uh Let's go tails. Tails it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real sheet too. Interested? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. we'll say thanks for the free ring. Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for that. Uh, you're getting paid in experience. The ring is mine now. Ah, uh, I'm tempted. I that kind of feels like the barbarian thing to do, even though we're lawful good. But all right, okay, here, have it back. You got it. One sec. We'll do the right thing. I don't want to, That's but I guess job. we have to. We're not doing so well in our perception either. You can hear it kind of like rolling in the background. Uh, do we need any of this dye? 
supply packs. I think we'll be okay on food for now. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I will sell some of these hand axes, I think. Well, actually, we'll hang on to them just because we can throw those. We'll sell the bronze ring. Sell the silver locket. Uh, sure. Why not? That'll be fine. I won't receive any gold for this trade. It's telling me I'm supposed to receive 14. There we go. Okay. Okay, so you can give it. That's I, I hadn't hit the scales. All right. Fair enough. Nothing caught your... You suddenly feel something moving against your back. And turn. I had four other people standing behind me and nobody nobody watched it, huh? Uh ch -ch -ch -ch. We're not gonna detect thoughts. Let's observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. Okay, only a five. We don't get a bonus, so that's good. Woo! We got there. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. Uh, we don't need to grab her. We'll say, relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. We'll ask Mattis what that was uh, about. Hey, are you here to trade or... Uh, your partner's a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. Mmm. We'll say, watch it where I'm from. Thieves are punished harshly. Oh, yeah? Are they bored to death? Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. All right. Please, last room. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out. It'll be a little bit harder now with the wild shaped bear. Give him a chance. You get back. What did I do? <laughs> uh, we'll say. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins right now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. All right. Again, I think we might use Will for this next part because being a warlock, charisma is his skill. I'm not sure what his bonus is for, but it's probably a plus three. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so he has a plus three to his charisma. Compared to the other classes, he's probably had maybe a Sterion has a better one. Uh, no, he only has 10. Okay. Yeah. Nothing for Shadowheart, nothing really for my character. So we'll probably use Will to have this conversation, especially because he seems to know them. Might have something to do with it. Speak. Uh, what were you saying to that bird? I think we missed that part, but still. She needs to know. You do not. Bunch of friendly druids around here. Um, I helped defend this grove. I am not your enemy. Only a 10, and again, we got a plus 5 because we're using the right character, so... There we go. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Uh, ch -ch -ch. we'll say, and she's wrong. Question mark. Not, but that does not make it right. Only 
Mr. Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. <laughs> All right. I hear the ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? I would prefer not to. But if Master Hulsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Okay. And again, a lot more, especially in this part, uh, exists if you're able to speak with animals. Like, this is just a bird to every character that can't sp speak to it, but they all have dialogue and everything else. So, that is something that, right now, this build is missing out on. Like, I don't think we can move the bear. I know normally you can move the bear to get this elevator working, if you can speak to him, but I don't know that he'll actually talk. Uh, oof. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, he has proficiency in animal handling, so we'll try it. We'll nudge the, <laughs> nudge the bear. All right, there we go. Not bad. The rolls are saving us. We've had some low DCs, too. I thought that was going to be higher. Uh, and DC is for difficulty class, if you're not familiar. But those low DCs have been helping out. All right. Let's go talk to some druids. Are we, uh, I forgot over here we got... Tell me about this place. Uh, Volo over here. Yes, yes, I see. And is that her with... Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Uh, I will say fine. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, but remember nothing useful about goblins' social order or behavior. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We'll give an exact description because this is Will talking. Goblins were of rare, jam-colored hue, and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Don't let the truth get in the way of a good story, but I don't think Will would lie here, so we'll say there wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. <laughs> Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Uh, yes, they called the name out like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the absolute. The scandal! Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Sarah, we'll, 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 eh, we'll skip Never it. you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Uh, we'll say, be careful, goblins aren't known for their mercy. Oh. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. And we will meet him again, as long as everything stays the same. Still go with Will here, just because, again, the charisma bonus is definitely what we're going to need for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her! She stole the idol of... I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Mm -hmm. We'll say thief, poison, what's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. 
She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Mm -hmm. Let's do... Let's do persuasion, because I don't think... Yeah, we have a plus one to nature. We're going to have a plus five to persuasion. We'll say, release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. All right. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, Tila to me! Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holson will- Halson isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. All right. Uh, we'll switch back to our main These character. Stayed Let's talk to Shadowheart for a second, see what I that was about. Look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. Still really not digging the helmet, it's but, you know. just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just... Something I have to live with. Mm, we'll say, how badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Mm, are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? We'll ask. Positive. What up? You can trust me on that. Okay. Not much to learn there. Uh, Let's ask her about the artifact. We haven't said anything about it yet, I don't think, so we'll say, what's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Uh, ch -ch -ch. We'll save that for later when we're at camp. How much further can I go? This will all be over. The ritual's almost finished. What if they tried to steal from us? Again? We've shown them once. We take Grove. Go on. Theory. Say it. You think I'm a monster? No, no. I mean, yes, but no. Come on. Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. Uh, ch -ch -ch. uh, we'll say only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know you're kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. We'll say Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Seems then I best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed... You just wait till I level up. ...and the grove <laughs> forever shrouded. Because we're doing our lawful good playthrough, we're going to try to help everybody all at once. Uh, let's talk to this guy here, just in case he has anything to offer. Well I don't think he will, but we'll, we'll ask anyway. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Uh, and if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. You're the one following her, bro, not me. We let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tiefling stripping okay, out. He's not happy about or it. worse. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. all right. We'll say Kaga seems a little happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. 
All right. So uh, if no one's looking for Halson, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halson return home. Uh, no need to fret. I will find him. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halson is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. All right. Come, Silver. And again, we saw his adventurers at the front gate. Uh, they had traveled with him, but he wasn't with them. I don't know who this what is. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Okay. Go see if we can get our parasite removed over here. I don't think any of this is overly useful. Talk to Nettie. I see you. Just give me a moment. Uh, we'll just sit there and wait. She asked for one. We'll wait. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. She has like one hit point. I'm pretty sure you, you can need? heal her. I uh, will say I am looking for Nitty. Uh, now we'll say I need help now. Mm, healing looks like I came to the right person. We'll go with that. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Uh, we'll say no good way of putting this. I uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. Uh, what other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped into my eye. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Didn't turn Tadpole out so great for him, though. His head soon after. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. I'll do the best I can. I'm no master house in mine. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'd like to stay, if it's all the same. All right. Let's see what we can do. Mm, ch -ch -ch -ch. What's with the plant? Will it help? We're definitely she gonna shifts ask. shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might, but first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. I feel a little tentacly. Anything strange happening? Uh, <laughs> let's skip telling her everything because now we don't trust her with her insight check. We'll say it might. What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. That's not a great answer. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So. Has anything unusual happened to you? Uh, ch -ch -ch. I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. Let's go. Let's go with I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Uh, on a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? We're pretty up for front forward, right? We're, we're a Halson barbarian. I don't think they'd be too uh, cagey Look, about it. You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. There's like a hundred of you. You'll be fine. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. 
This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Mm -hmm. Thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. Well, I'm that's sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Hmm. We'll say... All right, hand, I'll say I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Uh, okay, you must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Uh, that's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Okay, uh, we'll say... You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get We're him We're gonna kill them. <laughs> we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, I'll find Halson. We already kind of agreed to do it, so... It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you what happened out there, but those adventurers were the only witnesses, and they're long gone. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, time hmm. Come on. I think the next question we need to answer is, are we going to use these new powers that we've got? We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Should we talk to these guys? Let's talk to these guys. They seem like they're having a conversation, so there might be something here. Our hospitality has limits. Uh, then again, maybe not. Let's see what this does. Yeah, so we need to figure out whether we're actually going to use these powers and really lean into it, or whether we want to try to resist whatever infection this is. Um, I don't know. I, we'll put some thought into it, because I'm not so sure a Barbarian would even understand what they're trying to avoid. Head off. Uh, we'll head off this way, I think. Keep their confidence, if you insist. Start by coming up here. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile from pain. Definitely not gonna pass whatever performance check this is. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Mm. How can I put this? You sounded a little. Nah, that's not something a barbarian say. What's the tune you're singing? More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. Agreed. Uh, let's say, uh, you better swap your loot for a weapon. You need one. You'll need one soon enough. Violence doesn't fix everything, you know. 
Music can help in ways a silly blade can't. Lady, I'm a barbarian. Violet solves all my problems. This, for me. this is for the people I... We lost on the way here. It's important. Mm, <laughs> should I smash the loot? No, I don't think so. Lawful good. Lawful good. Uh, the song's more important than survival. It's your life. Let me help you finish it then. Uh, why not? Mm. Let's, let's fail this. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. Mm, hand me the loot. We can perform together. Let's start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance this ought to be good. The stars tonight. Smile and pain it's like picking up a, a guitar for the first away. time. All right, a 15. Yeah, no, this ain't this. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna pass this one. Yep, it went about as well as I expected. Interesting. Awful. Why what you're going for with a six? Uh, we'll continue to play. Why not? We'll try it. Only a ten. Okay, so they're they're helping us out here. We could take guidance and everything, but oh, all right. Well, there we go. Didn't need it. Getting all the side quests out of the way, it seems. Sorry. At least Will liked it. Uh, uh, no need to be sorry. Uh, uh, we'll say that song is beautiful, worthy of a few tears. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Uh, we'll say hardly unique tale of woe these days. Tough enough or you won't last. You're Pretty right. barbarian-like. She'd have said the same. Keep the loot. Please. You've earned it. Oh. The weeping door okay. will be my gift. What to am I going to use with it? What am I going to do with it? I have a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. This would be really impactful if I was a bard and this was my kind of thing. But, uh, you know, a barbarian, probably not the best. Is there anything here? It feels like this. No, well, maybe not. Can we jump down? It kind of feels like a landing spot down there, doesn't it? Uh, maybe not. Okay. That's fine. Head back to the grove. And I think we're going to depart here. I think we're going to go check out the stronghold we found uh, before. And we'll see if we can pick up Gale and Lizelle too while we're out. We want to try to level up a little bit before we get into any of the serious action. Level 2 is still pretty uh, pretty underwhelming. We want to start getting at least to level 3 so we can get those, se those second level spells uh, to power us up. Still one of my main complaints is... The walking speed, you know, I think they're a little bit faster than when the demo came out, or or the early access, I should say. But there's still a lot of time to kill, unfortunately, when you are uh, just walking around. So again, to come up from the bottom, I mean, I guess there's some realism in it, but you know, if there was some way to enhance the speed a little bit, I think it would probably be for the better. We'll talk to a couple more people here at the gate, and then we'll move on. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. Uh, ch -ch -ch. wish I'd seen that as boring when they just dropped dead. Uh, you know, lawful evil barbarian definitely says that. I guess taking a life. No, we're not saying that. We're barbarian. You, your first kill. Don't worry, it gets easier. That's what Zevlo said too. I hope you're right. I want to help. I just didn't think it would feel like this. Okay. 
What's next? All right, so we have Asterion first in order. I wonder, I think we're going to head over here and see if we can get a sneak attack. Let's use our cunning action to hide. Let's have a little fun. And then we will try to use our shot here to see if we can get our sneak attack damage. There it is. All right, that'll do it for him. Uh, we're still going to leave Shadow Heart behind here. We've already got him pretty weak. I think we're going to save some resources and just go with a cantrip. So we'll use uh, Sacred Flame. She has Firebolt too, right? Right. Uh, there it is. We'll use Firebolt. Uh, no, actually, maybe we will use Sacred Flame. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit better chance to hit. Okay. We'll just move her over this way, so she is kind of out of the way. My feet. Send the barbarian in because why not? Another step forward. Uh, and we are kind of out of range. We can't equip those hand axes. We need to next time. We will end our turn. He is surprised, so he doesn't get to do anything. Send Will forward. He has Eldritch Blast. Same deal. Especially because he's a warlock. We're just going to stick with some of our cantrips with him because he only gets the two spell slots you can see she's gonna run and then we should be able to finish this with our next three characters uh same deal bonus or cutting action hide i should say and then we will use another arrow shot all right handled pretty easy because we had that surprise didn't even really get to have a turn let's see if he had anything we'll take the gold I guess we'll take the poison. Do we need the morning star? Do we need the bone? No, we'll let it go. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Thank you. Nice let to meet you too. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Are you sure I can't just have it? Uh, we'll say that bugbear would have crushed your skull. This is the thanks I get. Uh, or do we say I've been to Avernus, but I'm no devil servant? All right, we'll Care go with that. Explain why you reek of the hells. Not really. Um, <laughs> no coin now. Uh, we don't need to intimidate. We're again, we're trying to be the nice guy here. We'll say a mind flayer abducted me, and the ship went straight to Avernus. With advantage. All right, there we go. Perfect. Both got there, which is good because we have no bonus to well, that's persuading quite the people. Story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Great, give me the coin. Here, take this. It's worth a fortune, but a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. You gave that up pretty easy, not gonna lie. That coin's worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. You literally just gave it to one, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess we didn't tell her that we'd been infected, but we did say we were on the Mind Flayer ship, so... You know, kind of a bad judgment call on her behalf, I think. I think that'll do it for here. Let's, uh, let's head out. Yes, yeah, so he can't get there. All right. Make me climb down the ladder and everything. That is fine. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, she probably should have guarded that a little bit, a little bit closer. What's next? And we will head back towards the caves first, because again, we're going to try to get uh, Gale and Lizelle. Keep everybody walking. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint though. And I'll try to keep it close enough to our characters so that we can hear them talking. Here's Lizelle. You think it's Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. 
Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Let's say, rather demanding of a woman in your position, why should I? Your words sure, why not? She's been kind of a jerk to us this whole time. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid. Fair point. We can't trust her. All right, we'll say. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me, I guess. Probably should have swapped this out. We, I think we're gonna go with guidance this time. We're gonna, we're gonna have uh, Shadowheart guide us with her cantrip. Kind of cheesy. Not a big fan of it in the actual Five E game, uh, just because. You know, you can spam it. Let's see, we need a good roll here. We need a four. Ugh, not good. Let's see how they react to that. Demaze, let's... No. I'm not leaving this fiend with a stranger. Kill them. Mm, we'll shoot the trap down. I'll tear it apart before anyone else gets hurt. Does that mean I have to... Mm, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I think we're going to be killing some tieflings here, even though I don't want to. I did leave the guidance on, but it lasts for I think a minute, so still fits. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Danae's. Enough. Lower the trap. Did I just agree to kill my party member? That might not be good. You've but one chance. Join me or die. Uh, okay, I guess we're attacking some tieflings. That didn't go the way that I was hoping, no! but... You lying rat! Perhaps. I wasn't telling all of the truth. Uh... But, they could have avoided it by just listening to me. Let's see. We need Asterion to hide here. Wait, so that means we can't jump. So let's head off into the brush and see if this is a good enough spot. We'll use our cunning action to hide. Perfect. With our stealth roll, we got it away. And uh, we'll just have to casually not mention us killing some of these t these tieflings out in the wild. Alright. That'll do it for him. <laughs> On to Will. Blade Ward is kind of terrible. Arm of Agathis doesn't help us unless we kind of run in there. Arms of Hadar is a short tur a short reach. Yeah, only three meters. Hmm. I don't really want him to be a run in there character. We kind of want him to be a little bit more of a blaster. So I suppose we'll have him. I don't want to just use Eldritch Blast, but I think we're going to have to. All right, we'll move in. We will. Uh... Now we're going to need to jump too to make sure we make it as far as we can. We'll jump in and then use Arms of Hadar, I guess. Not enough movement for it. Alright, so we'll jump. And then we'll move. Finding Hopefully that'll way. put us into range. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't hit Lysel. And it does. Okay, perfect. And she's almost down. Okay, so we're in a little bit of we're in a little bit of trouble with her. We didn't kill them. Lysel killed them, okay? Important thing to remember. <laughs> when uh, when this inevitably comes back up. Uh, do we want a Hellish Rebuked? No. We'll save our spell slot. I think we're doing okay. You only get two as a Warlock. You kind of got to guard them even though they come back as it, on a short rest. Uh, can we get over there? Not really. I guess we are going to dash then. Oh no, this is uh, this is Shadowheart. I thought we were onto our Barbarian. Um... Same deal. Kind of protect those spell slots. We'll move and then use Sacred Flame. Good hit on only a 40%. We're still gonna have her move up a little bit closer. Come on. Can't stay idle. Our halfling has less movement because he's a halfling, unfortunately. Uh, we'll move him in. I think we're still out of range and I didn't equip those hand axes. So. 
we will dash. Kind of a waste of an action, but we don't really have any other choice. Same deal. Cunning action hide. No trace. We'll move a little bit with Asterion, and then we will shoot as soon as he's done moving. Eldritch Blast. And Lazel, again, gonna do all the dirty work for us. Okay. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. Yeah, you're welcome. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Ah, uh, we'll say a simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. I wasn't the one who got caught by tieflings, okay? Thanks. Uh, what is exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. I feel like purification is just they kill you, but uh, we'll say, all right, we'll journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. I uh, will just say, wait at the camp. Speak Very there. well, but heed my words. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. As far as party composition goes, Asterion is always going to be pretty helpful because you just send him off to hide. Um, and rogues do great damage, so that is also there. Also, let's uh, make sure we loot the people we definitely didn't kill. Uh, don't need too much of that. Traps, please. Take the potato, I guess. Again, we'll leave the weapons. We could kind of scum it and just take them all to sell, but I feel like that's a little unnecessary. Uh, we'll keep going. Let's head down this way. Again, I'll try to keep everybody in range to where we can still hear what they're saying. This should be where Gale is, if that hasn't changed, and it also gives you the opportunity to warp uh, to different spots in the map, which is nice. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Mm, we'll touch the sigil because, of course, barbarian got to got to lick everything. A hand? Anyone? Uh, yeah, that is a hand. Uh, <laughs> slap the hand. Uh, we'll grab him and pull. Why not? Again, plus three here. We should we should hit this one. We got it. Perfect. That's it. Go on. Keep pulling. I do feel like you should be able to get, give yourself advantage if you could have your party members uh, assist you with things. Like, you know, if Will wanted to help us there, you saw it, he said he approved of it up top. You should be able to use two characters at once to gain advantage on things, but, Hello. you know, probably hard to I'm program. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. Usually better at this. Uh, ch -ch -ch. At introductions? At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Uh, yes. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Uh, uh go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? 
Yeah, look at this battle axe I'm carrying. You know I'm none of those you things. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I'm level two, man. What do you want from me? Uh, my hands are better suited for less delicate pursuits. I can offer you a swift end, but I can't cure you. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Oh, I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. And it is about time to take a rest. Uh, maybe we can swap out some party members here. We could also short rest. Hmm. We do still have our short rest, so I guess we'll keep we'll keep traveling here. We'll take our short rest. Probably could have uh, used Will's other spell if we were going to short rest that like that. But uh, eventually we're going to switch it out for some of these other party members. Again, Asterion's pretty good. Always good to have a healer too with Shadow Heart, but it's not super necessary. Um, you know, it's a lot of times it's good to focus on damage dealing just because healing in D&D &D doesn't tend to work very well. You're not going to out heal any kind of damage you're going to get. So a lot of times you don't even necessarily yeah, need nothing. to worry about it. I just want to make sure we activate it this week. Come back if we need to. Um, again, I think we're going to trade Will out at least early because there is, warlocks are good, wizards are just better. So we might switch him out for Gale, and I wouldn't hate having Lizelle either. Having a second character up front would never be a bad thing. So I think we might go with Shadowheart and uh, Shadowheart, Lizelle, and Gale, perhaps. Oh, probably need to sneak here. Well, let's talk to him first. I think this is going to throw us into combat, and I remember you can shoot this down if we need to, but let's, let's talk to him first. You twice as tall as me, but I'm off the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! I did. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say that ship is full of monsters. I kind of do want to pull the intimidation off, but we'll, we'll we'll be honest here. That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. Uh, do we add a do we add guidance? No, let's let's just keep it. We'll keep a straight roll. All right. See, we didn't need it. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! You're and, more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. And a lot of the time it does wind up being a fight. Um, but if, since we didn't have to kill him, we won't. Lawful good and everything. We still got some experience for it. Enough to level up, so we'll do that really quickly. Level 3 is where a lot of things come online, so usually you're picking your subclass and everything. Uh, so we need to pick a subclass here first. We have Wild Heart. Your attunement with nature and its beast inspires your rage, empowering you with supernatural might. Wild Magic, and then Berserker. I know Berserker stinks in uh, regular 5e. Your rage turns into a frenzy. You gain frenzy strike and enraged throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. Okay. An extra attack isn't bad. Um, but I know normally Frenzied Strike is a bonus action. You make a melee attack with your equipped weapon. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. Wild Magic makes a lot of interesting things happen. Like, anything can happen while you pull a Wild Magic off. And then Wild Heart, again, don't really know. You get speak with the animals, and we did say we were missing it before. I think we might take this one, but I'm not 100% sure what Wild Heart does. I wonder if it's new for this. Magic awareness. Anyone within range adds their proficiency bonus to saving throws against spells. Okay, that's pretty strong. As well as inner rage that releases all the magic 
roiling inside you, causing a random magical effect. Yeah, I don't know if I like the randomness of it, because good things can happen, bad things can happen, things that just change the game. It's a fun playthrough, um, but I do think it's something that we probably don't need to go with this time. I think we'll go with we'll go with Wild Heart. Why not? We'll try it. Again, I'm not 100% sure what it has to do, but uh, we'll go with it. Bestial Heart. Let's see. Choose your Bestial Heart. You can change your heart whenever you level up. Bear Heart. While raging, you can use Unrelenting Ferocity and have resistance to all damage except Psychic. Eagle Heart. Um, while raging, you can use Divine Strike. Foes also have disadvantage on Opportunity Attacks. Diving Strike. Sorry, not Divining Strike. Elk Heart. While raging, you can use Primal Stampede and your movement speed increases by 4.5 meters. Tiger Heart. While rampaging, you can use Tiger's Bloodlust and Jump Distance increases, not worried about jump distance. While raging, you can use Inciting Howl, and your allies have advantage on melee attack rolls against enemies within two meters of you. That could be pretty powerful if we go with a melee heavy group. Choose your bestial heart. You can change your heart whenever you level up. Mm. Okay, the bear heart is also incredibly powerful. Resistance to all damage except psychic means basically you get double the hit points. I think that's probably what we're going to go with. And that also keeps us with the ability to go with more spellcasters. We can heal ourselves with with uh, Unrelenting Ferocity. Uh, we'll go with the Bear Piercings. We'll keep it We'll keep it steady. Let's take a quick look at them. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go with the Bear Piercings. Why not? We'll go with that. Feels good. Uh, pretty good level. And I wonder if this is just supposed to be the... Uh, the totem barbarian. The, the barbarian that gets all the totems. Let's also... While I'm thinking about it, throw those hand axes onto our range spot. Can we do that? No? Okay, I think you can throw as an action, right? We got to throw in here. Yeah, right there. So we can throw those hand axes. We'll level our other characters really quick, and then we'll pop the door open here. All right, so we got Shadow Heart. We do have to mess with her spells. So she gets an extra first level spell and second level spells. Uh, she gets two second levels, and she gets one more first. We need to pick our spells here, though. Okay. Eight is a good spell because it gives everybody extra health. Could be really powerful with this Barbarian we have because it basically will double that while we're raging. Old Person is kind of a risky play, but it's good when it works out. Enhance ability gives advantage on ability checks to a chosen ability. That could be pretty powerful, too. Lesser Restoration isn't terrible, but it's not great. I don't think diseases and poisons are going to come up a ton. Prayer of Healing is a solid healing spell, too, because it, it could be cast uh, outside of combat. Spiritual Weapon's not bad, either. We'll take... Hmm... Oh, it's just telling me that we get it. We, I forgot we have to set him as a long rest, so that's fine. We'll go with that. We don't need to multi-class with her. That's pretty powerful. Uh, we'll just need to go through our. We'll need to go through our spells the next time we rest. Uh, let's see. So let's pick our subclass first. By default, he's arcane trickster, which gives you a couple spells, but it's not the best in my opinion. I think Assassin might be where we're going to go. Thief isn't terrible. Arcane Trickster's good because you kind of turn into like half a wizard. But until you re start reaching like levels 9, 10, 11 and you get those third level spells. And even then, um, you're just behind the curve a little bit. It's nice to have that work in. But with his uh, with his sneak attack that Rogue hit, we can kind of buff that up with the Assassin. So, uh, you are the deadliest against unprepared enemies. In combat, you have advantage in attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. That could be pretty powerful. Any successful attack roll against a surprise creature is a critical hit. Again, massive. Just double damage right there. And then, Assassin's Alacrity. Quick as an alley cat in, the dark, uh, in a rain dark city. You immediately restore your action and bonus action at the start of combat. Less helpful, but if we're jumping and we get caught out of space, that can help. And then, Thief... Uh, Gives you an additional bonus action. Can be helpful. Again, he can... Actually, that can be really good because he can bonus action hide. You can hide, shoot, and then hide again before your turn's over so nobody can attack you. Um, I think we're going to go Assassin, though. That 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 uh, 
uh, critical hit against surprised creatures is pretty powerful. Not to mention you get the... Uh, it's just hard to know how often creatures are going to be surprised in this. Is the only downside to it. We'll stick with it. We'll make him an assassin. And then finally, Will. This one we're going to have an interesting choice to make because we can replace a spell if we need to. And we get a spell as well. Uh, let's see. Cloud of Daggers isn't fantastic. It's not a bad area of effect. It's just soon, like by level 3, there's going to be better ones. Invisibility is always a good one, though. Mirror image isn't bad. It's just you want to cast it before contract uh, before combat starts, um, and it lasts only for ten turns. So you have to make sure that combat starts, at, you know, right after you cast it. Expeditious retreat is fine, but not really what we're looking for. Scorching ray is a good one. Misty step is a good one, but with a warlock, it's a little bit more difficult to justify using a misty step because you only get a couple of those spells. Uh, I think we're going to go Scorching Ray. And then we can replace a spell as well. Let's replace one here. What are we taking out? Our, probably Arms of Hadar. They kind of have him set up as a melee build. Like, he has Hellish Rebuke, so when he gets hit, he can do damage to people. Uh, and Arms of Hadar is a good, like, area of effect for where you are. Same thing, they give him the ar the armor of Agathus. So they kind of made like a melee warlock build. We could take Pact of the Blade. That'll make him better at that. I just, he doesn't have the hit points that we're going to want to have up front. Because he only gets a D8 hit die. So if we take out Arms of Hadar, what do we add in here? We already took Scorching Ray, so we already have our Blasting Attack. We don't really need Shatter. We could go Misty Step or Invisibility. Darkness isn't bad either. Why don't we go with Misty Step? No, we'll go with Invisibility. And we'll take the Pact of the... So you get to pick a Pact. Pact of the Blade will help him do a little bit more damage because he gets to summon a, a specific weapon. Uh, making it a magic weapon, basically. And it uses his spellcasting modifier instead of strength or dexterity. So entirely, we could focus on charisma at that point. Um, hmm. Pack to the Tome. Your patron grants you a grimoire called the Book of Shadows, which allows you to cast Guidance, Vicious Mockery, and Thorn Whip. Nothing too powerful. Uh, gain the service of a familiar or fae spirit that takes the form of your choosing. This could be an animal, imp, or quasit. We'll do Pack to the Blade. And that should set us up here for level 3. We do have the couple that are at camp that I think still get the same... A hero at heart. Uh, ...ability checks. Or the same uh, ability advancement. And if we want to, we can drop in here. Let's take a quick look around, because if I remember right, there's some things here still. Be good. Check out these crates. That blood. We'll also switch back to Bill. No. Let's see, we've got a fish. A little bit of food for camp. It'll help us because we are What's coming up on a rest here sooner or later. And you can just see, like, the barbarian is just going to start running away with the hit points they have. These boots Especially with the pack of the bear that we took. Or the, the path of the bear, I should say. Basically, I've got 70 hit points right now while we're raging. And we're going to be raging in every serious fight. Uh, let's use a Sterion and see if we can get him to open the door. Should be easy. All right, so he gets to add his dexterity. He gets thieves tools. Uh, well, we only have one of them, uh, but he also has sleight of hand proficiency and expertise in it. So a plus seven here, and then we can throw guidance in there on top of it. Our total bonus is actually higher than the DC is, so we're guaranteed to pass this. It's just fun to see everything hit, like especially with rogues, you can drop some real serious successes. Like a twenty-eight on that is massive. Shouldn't we'll wish to live in more interesting times. Click back to Bill, just so he's walking first. You're dead. Okay. And just like that, we are in combat. Let's start with the Starion. And we will use... 
he only has a dagger instead of short bow. Okay. Uh, then let's not start with Asterion. Let's start with Bill. Who is going to start with the Great Axe, and we're going to go Reckless. Because that will grant us advantage on this and give us a much better chance to hit him. Alright. Uh, and we don't get the bonus action attack. That was a different one. We don't need to rage either. Because I think this is going to be over here in a second. Let's have some fun. Target is too close, so we're actually losing a little bit of our opportunity to hit him, but that's okay. We'll use the dagger instead. And there we go. Take the bandit's key. Take the bottle, I guess, and we'll leave the rest of it. We don't really need the torch either. And we are going to move into Everyone stealth. Everyone else minds their business. I'll be fine. Calm and quiet, that's the way. Careful, I might. Silence is gold. Have to keep low. All right. What now? Breathe deep and move. We're still going to check out like the crates and stuff. No more prayers. Only dust and uh, silence. We'll take the ink pot, I guess. I don't think Who there's. Who are those prayers for? Normally, the patron god is obvious. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. There's some food here on the table, so we'll take it with us. And we're going to stack up. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Every time I've played it up to this point, uh, food for the long resting has not really been an issue. But we'll take all of this. We'll just see what they have in the trunk here, too. We'll take the gold, obviously. We'll take the cup. I think the rest of this can get sold. And we'll keep going. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to split the party up here. And we're going to try to use Asterion to see if we can get a sneak attack here. So Maybe using Bill... Stay forever. Uh, he's locked. Okay. What is it? Send Asterion up here. We'll have him lockpick. We'll get the other two in position in case combat does break out. Off I go. We'll go back to Asterion. And let him lockpick the door. We'll throw Guidance on here too, because this one's a little bit tougher. But still, an 8 to 11 bonus means we are considerably... Yeah, see, natural 20. Let's go. All right. Open the door. Hopefully they don't see us. And we will use a quick attack here. Let's attack this barrel. I was hoping that would catch on fire and explode right away. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, but we do still have a fire bolt. All right, a little disappointing on damage, but that's okay. Uh, the other two are actually not in combat right now, so we'll need to move them before we, before we wait. Uh, we let's see. We need to not block this doorway. Let's start with some of our other characters. I don't think we have another way in, so we're just gonna have to charge. So let's. We will run in, I suppose. I was going to say, if they are just going to let us walk in without seeing us, that would be kind of funny. Uh, but no. And that's okay. Will actually has a ranged option. I suppose we could have thrown a hand axe there, but it's all good. Will has a ranged option. So let's see if we can get into a spot where he can sneak up and use an Eldritch Blast. He has advantage because they haven't seen him. Strike from the shadows. All right. Did unfortunately move exactly where we didn't want him to be, which is in the doorway. Uh, and we will attach everybody here. Okay. Let's have some. Sterian does have his bonus action. We're actually just going to move him out of the way. Have him cunning action hide. That'll do it for him. Again, he's per exactly right where we want him not to be. Uh, hmm. 
We'll try to pull off a charm person if we can. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll try it. Let's see if we can charm. Yes, he only has 36 because we're already fighting. Let's see if we can charm this guy. Ah, he saved it. Okay. Unfortunately, he saved, so... We wasted a spell slot for nothing there. Okay, ensnaring strike. Didn't work, it looks like. And we are burning as well. They should be as well. Okay. We're gonna rage. For sure, and then we're gonna send it right to the heart of it. So we will move all the way up here. So we're not in range with both of them. I probably should have because she has a bow out. And then we're going to reckless attack. This is going to give us advantage here. Gives them advantage, but because we're raging, we're going to take less damage. Uh, that'll do it for him. That's the end of his turn. Alright. We're going to need to get a decent spell off here. And he already burned his action, so he can't really do that. Already burning, so I suppose we'll just walk through it. We're actually going to run Will over this way to try to get him a little bit more out of the way. He also has rage. Okay, that's interesting. Let's hellish rebuke here. And that's why we did it. It literally just took her out of the fight because of that, so... Pretty good. We're gonna go with Shadowheart first, because she's standing right in the middle of everything. Uh, this would be a great spot for her. She's already burning, so I'm not worried about walking through it. Send her in. And we're out of range for an Inflict Wounds, of course, but we will Guiding Bolt here, I think. Because I think we can get a kill if we hit the right person. They all have about the same, but he... Well, he's even though he's raging, he probably won't be protected from this. There we go. For her bonus action, she could use Healing Word, but actually we're out of first level spells, so I don't really want to spend a second on it. Miss this. I wonder if we're going to be able to sneak in this way. Probably not, right? Probably not. So let's see if we can move to a spot where we can see them, but they can't see us. We'll go with this attack. Alright. Same deal, we'll move to the side and send back to Cutting Action Hide. And I know it's not super riveting for a uh, for a rogue, but that is a lot of what their playstyle is. It's just attack and then hide, and attack and then hide. Okay, that'll slow Will down, but I'm not overly worried about it. He has range, and we've got everybody else that's going to deal with this. I think we're doing okay. So our Reckless Attack wore off. Because we hit him with a Guiding Bolt, we'll have advantage anyway. Doesn't matter. Uh, we don't need to do Reckless. We already have it, so... And we missed anyway, even with Guiding Bolt. So let's shove him as a bonus action. And then we're going to chase after her. Need to find a way forward. Okay, he gets opportunity, but again, damage is halved. Not overly worried about it. We're still doing pretty well at 17. That'll do it for Bill. This is my time. Now, Will is ensnared, so we'll keep him still. He has disadvantage on the attack because he's ensnared. Hmm. I think we'll pull Armor of Agatha to play it a little safer. That way we don't have everybody go down. That'll give him some temporary hit points. And it damages anybody that hits him, and that's what this is down here, I think. These are our temporaries. That'll do it for Will. He tried to throw something at me, but it didn't work. And because they've moved, I don't really want to drag Asterion through the fire, but I think we have to. I don't want to waste a jump here if we don't have to, so... Let's just move him through it. He'll be okay. He's full health. Uh, did it give our hide up there, too? I thought we were crouched while we were doing that. Okay. Uh, we'll cunning action dash, I guess, because we're not really in any range to hit anybody. We'll send him in here. Even though we're not going to have sneak attack. Yeah, see, we 
Gotta have to have advantage. We'll just use a regular attack. And one short of what we needed. It's okay though. Um Let's see if we can let's see if we can take this guy out so he doesn't get another hit on Bill. Even though Bill will go first before him. We'll do it anyway. We go with a main hand attack, or do I go with a yeah, let's just go with a main hand attack. That'll be fine. No mercy. One short of what we needed again. Okay. So she just gave up her concentration on will to uh, make sure that that happened. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can shove him. And then we'll attack here, I suppose. I probably should have done that. Yeah, let's do it reckless. Thank you for asking. That deals with her. Same deal. I'm still going to charge him out here because we still want him attacking our barbarian, even though he's banged up. Mm. Just Eldritch Blast. Nice, simple, easy cantrip. That'll do it for Will. Doesn't really need to do anything else. Bill will take another hit, but it doesn't matter. And Asterion can sneak attack because we have Bill next to him. There we go. Not the not the smoothest combat. We did make a couple mistakes, but uh, we got the job done. So no worries. Do these boots and everything doesn't look like they do anything? So probably wind up leaving them. And the great club doesn't really help compared to the great axe. Check everybody else. See if they have anything worth taking. We'll give that to Asterion because he's gonna be doing our lock picking. What a day. Drow poison. I Code our weapon really poison. I actually am gonna give that to the barbarian because he's mainly going to be doing that. Let's take a short rest as well. Probably gonna take a long rest here too. But that'll get Willis spell slots back. Shadowheart's pretty down there. She only has her second level spells. Trust no one. Sterian's fine. Bill is fine. He still has a rage charge, so we're good. Right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And we will check these last two for anything valuable. Look at her ready. Did I get everybody? This is the one over here in the corner, right? What's inside? So we got a tough decision to make on who we actually run with the uh, in the party because we have. Light on my feet. A pretty good setup. Even right now. I, I think Will could probably be better. They made him into like a melee warlock, which doesn't really work that well. No lock. No handle. How does it open? We can't uh can't lockpick it either, so. Alright. What now? Let's check out the candles. See if we snuff them and see if that does anything. We'll take these thieve tools too. Um, you know, we're a barbarian. So we'll do barbarian things. Beat the door down. 22 and the door is still standing though. Okay. There we go. Should mind my step. Let's check the other areas out first before we go too far. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot in there, but we can check it actually. And then we'll open this door next. Uh, it doesn't really look, to, look like there's a lot here. Getting our loot goblin on too. Yeah, nothing really scruffy vagabond clothes. Yeah, okay. I suppose we could change the way we look if we wanted to. Here we go. Tons of books, though. I'm not sure any of them actually do much other than just give you some lore and background of the game. Like The Unclaimed, The Curse of the Vampire. Let's read it really quick. Yeah, see, there's nothing really... I guess we'll send it to camp. Why not? And we'll read this one, too. I think it's really doing anything. I could take the time and read all this to everybody, but that would... You know, the game is already long enough, so I think we'll just keep going. A lot of books about the curse of the vampire, though, which, again, kind of weird that they're all located in the same place. 
I wonder if this tomb has anything to do with it. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Uh, okay. The plaque here. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. Look at the chapel records. Fine dust coats the page in this weather book beneath the bone white powder. Hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Okay. Oh, here's a looter's trunk. That's why we came in here. That might be worth a look. And there's also a lever. I wonder what that did. Probably opened the door we already smashed down. But, you know. No big deal. Let's have a I look. I did forget this guy. I forgot we took him out early. Uh, scroll of Burning Hands. Hmm. Could be decently powerful. Who do we want to give it to? Let's probably a stereot, just in case we get into some trouble. We'll give it to him. Journey through the jungle. Quarter staff. We're not really worried about anyone having a quarter staff. Continue on. For sure. I'll take that. Damage the base as well. Wasn't built for the living. It doesn't look like we can open the doors. Let's see if they can be lockpicked. Again, we want to use a stereon for that. With pleasure. Is that plus seven of his, even though we're third level, is pretty powerful. And that'll actually go up next level when we get a better proficiency score. Could have, uh, I suppose we could have used our other, but ooh, probably should have. But I think we'll get another crack at it. We actually failed one, which is kind of surprising. We needed to roll a three, so um, we'll just try again. It's okay. We'll burn up one of our thieves' tools. We don't need to burn any of that. We could throw guidance on there. We're not going to guidance scum. We're just going to play the game. All right, seventeen. Not bad. A little bit better. Uh, let's Don't go. Mind if I do? Two, actually, we're not going to leave any loot behind us. Before we go, I do think it's probably a good idea to take a long rest, just because we're still a little banged up. I'll take all that. We'll go back Night to Bill. To rest. I think we should probably take a long rest here, just so we don't die. So why don't we do that? We'll take a long rest. You have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points and spell slots. If you long rest. Yes. All right. Need to find a way. We have a couple of characters to talk to. Again, we, we're going to figure out what we're going to do for party composition because I do like having Shadowheart, and I do like having, uh, I, you know, wizards are super powerful. So having Gale wouldn't be a bad thing either. We'll probably just, you know, use a good mix of everybody. Uh, but for now, let's start Seems by talking like to people. I like having to warriors too. Lizelle, I think we're going to ask to come along. Having those two upfront characters are pretty powerful. I remember who I was in Kreshkalir. I was hungry to face my first geich. My sword pined for their blood. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Uh, what do you mean by the tears? Next time you're able, look to the sky. Watch the moon cross it. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Uh, are all Geth uh, get Yankee from the tears? Or <laughs> never mind. We'll say, we gotta go with the half. Like you mean you come from up there in the sky? You are too easily astonished. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated a Niyogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. All right, let's talk to Gale, even though he doesn't say he has too much to You're say. Not in magic, are you? Not a drop. Uh, I'm not. Why do you ask? 
No matter to worry the unlettered over. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Okay, you got it. You know, I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. It's a weird pause, when dude. We find the druid. <laughs> Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Uh... We'll say it doesn't have to be. We can still travel together. Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. You're quite the ally after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not normally impressed by people of. You can see the bite marks on his neck too. But Again, we know he's a vampire. You credit uh, but they haven't told us yet in game, so you can kind of see. I like that they included the bite marks. Uh, ch -ch 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 uh true. I am pretty impressive. Aren't you just? Uh, are you feeling all right? Hmm. Oh. Um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. In this I'll underground tip sure. crypt we're in, uh-huh. Sleep tight. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Mm, surprisingly fine, in spite of it all. Or we'll say confident. No, ti no tiny tadpole will be getting the best of me. That feels more Courage along the lines of what we say. Shadow. I love to see it. But shouldn't the shadow have crept closer? Gone darker by now. Oh yeah, Before we totally should be dead. unscheduled surgery. I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Mm, ch -ch -ch, something special about us, or at least our tadpoles. It makes no sense, I know. Why haven't we turned? We could probably dig up some poison mushrooms if, that ke if you're keen to be sick. We'll say something special about us. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. All right. Shadowheart 2. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your and mind? And don't forget it. You must be <laughs> pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Mm, we'll say, how are you feeling? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Mm, ch -ch -ch -ch. No hesitations. I'd end your misery then and there. Think. A firm answer. I'd do the same. We'll need that kind of thinking to make it through all this. You're doing well. We should get some rest. Good night. All right. I think that's everybody. Curse. We'll my hands on go everything. to bed. As far as supplies go, let's see if we can get as close to 40 as possible here. And let's see if we can do it without using one of these supply packs. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Coffee. 37, so we need three more. And the potato. Alright, perfect. Take our full rest. There's our vampire shenanigans, like we talked about. <sighs> Alright, before we leave, I think we are going to change our characters. So, we'll go Lysel, and I think we're going to go with Gale. 
The wizard was a useful find. Let's hope he's as powerful as he is verbose. Uh, I'd like you to join me. You've no room. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Yeah, we need to dismiss somebody first. Uh, ch -ch -ch. The pride of the gate. Uh, ch -ch -ch. checking things out. Okay. No one stopped me yet. On my way. I should speak up. So we'll leave Will, and I think we're gonna leave Shadowheart for now. And I think we'll go with. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Gale. I heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems interesting. Uh, we should journey separately for now. I look here for you if, if I need you again. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Fine, I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. And I think we're gonna leave Will as well. A good wizard is hard to find. Let's make Gale feel welcome as best we can. Yeah, about that. He's taking your spot. <laughs> Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. I am glad. I'll come for you if I need and to. just when things were warming up. All right. Well, you don't have to be so disappointed in me. I mean, come on. How can I help? All right. Join me, why don't you? There's plenty of adventure to be had. With pleasure. Lead on. We are going to have to level him up, I think. Yeah, because they do give you all the levels of everybody else, which is good. Because that means our decisions aren't, you know, overly impactful other than, like, what Be how the characters would react. Promises. The missing druid. I know. The, so, I want you to it join me. Done. And there we go. So, we have two frontliners. We have Asterion, who's probably going to be doing more, most of his work from range. And moving... You know, moving in the shadows, hiding as much as possible. And then we have Gale, who's going to be basically our blaster caster. We're going to use him to do everything we can to do damage from distance. So let's let's take a look at our subclass first. Again, evocation fits that really well because that is blasting. Necromancy would be fun just to have a horde of undead zombies. Conjuration, enchantment, divination, though, is also a really good one because the what what... At least in the normal game, you get portent dice here. After each long rest, you gain two random portent dice. During the day, you can use your reaction to change the die roll of any attack roll or saving throw rolled near you uh, to one of your portent dice. Each portent dice can only be used once, and you lose your unused portent dice at the end of the day. So, what it does is you get to roll two dice, and you can change your rolls, or you can change enemies' rolls. So, a lot of interesting options here with that. And then, you know, Divination Savant's actually not very good. Um, all the Savant aren't particularly that good, to be honest. Uh, learning spells from scrolls, again, just get a little bit cheaper. It's 25 gold instead of 50. Sculpt spells is helpful. Abjuration wouldn't be terrible either, because it gives them a little bit of extra health. Um, or effectively extra health, I should say. A hypnotic Gaze isn't bad either. Hmm. Let's let's do divination just because it's fun. Uh, actually, we'll do a evocation. We said we're making a blaster caster. We'll stick pretty by the book. Yeah, now we're doing divination just because it's fun. Uh, we get two spells, and they have to be first level because this is what we get for being level two. We could go magic missile. Not super powerful, but it guarantees a hit. It could be a good finisher spell. Fine familiar isn't that great. Ice knife is new. I don't know what that does. 1d10 piercing damage, it explodes and deals 2d12 cold damage to anybody nearby. It leaves an icy surface. Um, on a miss, the shard of ice still explodes. Okay. Actually, I do know what that spell is. Enhanced leap isn't that good. Long strider isn't really that good. It gives you some extra movement speed, but not really worth the spell most of the time, especially for a guy who can throw spells across the field. Shield is great. We're taking shield. That'll help keep him alive because it lets you get it raises your armor class by five as a reaction, so that's awesome. Uh, and then probably Chromatic Orb, I think. That lets you deal a bunch of different types of damage. We'll go with that. Okay, that looks good. Prepared spells. I think we're going to skip out on Grease. It can be a good denial spell. But we kind of want ma- oh, we had Mage Armor already. Um, we want Chromatic Orb. Sleep is decent. Witch Bolt sucks, so we'll get rid of Witch Bolt. We'll get rid of Thunder Wave, too, I think. We're going to let Chromatic Orb be our main- Damage dealer from distance. And you can change the type of type of damage that it deals, which is nice. Um, 
So again, Thunder Wave compared to it isn't necessarily the best, except it, it deals damage to multiple creatures. And we'll get Shield on for sure since we just took it. And maybe we do go with Grease. So yeah, we'll go with Grease. Just a, a nice little, you know, spell to slow down people running at us, and it'll also give us a chance to light it on fire because I believe we have... Uh, I believe we have... Uh, Firebolt for a cantrip. So we can light that grease on fire if we need to. Alright, now level 3. We'll try to make this as quick as we can. We're definitely going to want second level spells. Arcane lock, closed door, container with magical lock. It can no longer be lock picked or opened. With uh, uh, Yeah, I don't know. Not really super helpful in a campaign like this. In normal D&D it has some value, but not so much in this. Blur. Attackers have disadvantage on attack rolls against you for 10 turns. We kind of already took shield, so I'm not... You know, we could go total defense, but I don't think we need to. Detect thoughts is always interesting, but I think we'll skip it. Flaming sphere, gust of wind. Flaming sphere isn't bad. Invisibility is always fun. We already have chromatic orb, so I think we'll skip acid arrow. Misty step is good. We're going to take misty step. And I think we might go scorching ray or shatter. I think we're going to go Shatter just so we have something that can affect a crowd. We'll go with that. Okay. I think that's good. Again, we're building a nice little blaster caster there. Uh, we'll do Lysel. Hers should be pretty simple. Just because fighters tend to be pretty simple. We'll pick a subclass here. Uh, she gets her action surge, which is good. Let's her go twice, two actions on a turn if she needs to. Uh, and that's it for level two. So, again, nothing major there. Let's do level three. The Battlemaster is a good subclass. Let's see what else we have. Eldritch Knight, Champion. Uh, Champion just gives her a little bit better critical chance, but it's not the best. It's kind of simple. Again, you uh, so you roll a 19 or a 20 and you crit. Eldritch Knight gives you the chance to cast some spells, but just like with Arcane Trickster for the Rogue, it's not great because you're kind of just splitting your focus. It's you know it's not bad because it gives you a chance to pick something. I think we're going to go Battlemaster. Uh, so let's pick a couple maneuver maneuvers here. This might take a second. Disarming Strike is good because you can knock a weapon out of their hands. Distract your target, giving allies advantage on their next attack roll against the target isn't terrible. You can evade attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks against you for a round. Okay. Is that an action or a bonus action? It's a passive feature. Okay. Fading attack, you can use both your action and bonus action on a turn to attack a target with advantage and deal an extra D8. Goading attack, deal an additional d8 and attempt to goad the target into attacking you target receives disadvantage on attacking any other creature that would be better if we didn't have a, a barbarian because we want people attack we want everyone attacking the barbarian maneuvering attack spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals additional d8 on a hit select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed uh it will not provoke opportunity attacks that's not bad actually Menacing attack, spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional d8 and possibly frightens a target. That could be good. Precision attack, you can spend a superiority to a die and add it to the result of an attack roll. That's actually really good too. That can turn a lot of misses into hits. Pushing attack, spend a superiority die and possibly push the target back. Rally gives temporary hit points, so she can kind of be a healer. I think we'll probably wind up taking that repost. When a hostile creature misses you with a att melee attack, expend a die to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals an additional d8. Not terrible if we can get her if we can get her AC up high. Uh, sweeping attack, sweeping arc, attack multiple enemies at once. That's going to be a little more niche, and then trip attack can knock them down. Let's do trip attack. Let's do rally. What was the other one I said? Probably precision attack. I think we'll go with that. All right, I feel like that's pretty good. The trip attack is our melee. We can use precision attack to make sure we get a hit. What does it say? Oh, you only get one per long rest with this, so... Uh, that's probably not worth it. Uh, let's go with distracting. Actually, spend an action and a reaction direct an ally, an ally to strike a foe. The ally immediately uses their reaction to make a weapon attack. That's not bad either. Ugh. Okay, a lot of good options here. I think we'll go... We could add to our... 
could add to our action economy by taking this repose too. So we'll do that. I think we'll skip the rally. And we will go with... Is this once per long rest? No, it's a superiority die. Evade attacks. Enemies receive disadvantage on melee attacks against you. One turn with a superiority die. Okay. It is an action, though. Right? Yeah, it says actions. Okay. We'll go distracting strike. Okay. I think that's good. That was a lot. Sorry. I forgot the Battlemaster has a ton of those. Um, and they're all pretty helpful. We should be able to tear down camp. And keep going. Okay. Thanks for watching my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> following along with Bite Size Bill. Uh, if you like what you saw, like, share, comment, all that stuff. It helps me out a ton. Make sure you subscribe uh, to keep up with the rest of this campaign. Turn the bell on. All that stuff. You know how to YouTube works. So if you like what you saw and you want to help me out doing any or all of that stuff helps me out a ton. And I would really appreciate it. Uh, if you like D&D, whether this is your first uh, kind of introduction, whether Baldur's Gate is really like the first foray into it. Or whether you've been around for a long time and you know everything about the game. If you like that kind of stuff, uh, in the description there's a link to a new channel that I'm starting right now. That is going to talk about all that stuff and more for the for tabletop games. So if you want to get more involved with that, it's a great place to do it. And it would help me out a lot too. Uh, thanks a lot. As always, I'm Jake, and I'll catch you guys next time.